I always said that my eyes were, um, my eyes are brown. So they always said I was full of it all the way up to here. <laughs> they call it bullshit brown eyes, right? <laughs> okay, <clears throat> let's go ahead and do these lips. Now, mm -hmm. I have my liner. I had on a lip mask, which I try to do every morning, every night. I want you to take and draw your lip line. If you like to keep it right on your lip, keep it on your lip. If you like to go up above a little bit, go ahead and do that. But, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you can do that bit. Um, make sure that when you close your lips, you see right in through here. I want you to look in through here. <clears throat> if you take this lip line and draw it down, and take this line and draw it all the way down, you're going to look like you're frowning. So bring this up, and then from that space, up again, okay? <clears throat> you can watch, or you can just do it with me. Oh, that's turned up. I've told you guys a million times, don't turn these up too far. Okay, I'm going to mark. Okay, so I marked where I want my lipstick to begin and end. Now remember, we're popping out of the box, so these lips are going to pop today. This is not the way I wear my lips every day. How about we do a video on, um, like the neutral tone lips? That's my everyday bag. I'm gonna fill in that crease. Okay. See how I kind of brought that down? All right. Now, you can even go up a little higher. You guys want me to try it? I'm kind of scared. I'm, kind of sc I'm scared. Okay, I just made my lip. Oh, this one is. There we go. Now they're even. It looked like maybe they're even. Maybe they're not. Tell me, guys. Tell me. Where am I at? All right. I'm going to quit dinking with that because when we put the lipstick on, the lip splash, it's going to change everything again, and we're going to kind of blend. <clears throat> so, the lining of your lips is to kind of help you with bleeding, which I have never had a problem with with our products, but it also helps, why I like it, <clears throat> is because I can make my lips look a little bigger. Um, it's a little easier for to pop the bottom lip, a little harder to make that upper lip look bigger. You just need to draw the line a little higher and you need to kind of pat your makeup over top of your lips if you're going to do that <clears throat> so that it all blends in. Now I, I chose this hot pinky color and let me tell you ladies, these colors last all day. I'm going to grab a lip brush <clears throat> And so make sure that if it's too dark, you blend it out. Let's just go ahead and we're going to cover the inside. Woohoo! You see what I mean? Yeah, see what I mean? Oh. It was almost too late to blend that. These are amazing. I say that this is in between a lipstick and a lip stain. That's what I've always said. That your splash is not a stain, it's not a lipstick, but, oh man, I went out of the line. I hate when I go out of the line. But 
looks like I need a little more over here. Um, <laughs> All right, I have a lip, so I have more creases. Takes me a little bit more to, um, do my lips than you young ladies who have beautiful, soft, silky, and you know, mine are better than they were years ago, but just all the good stuff I've been doing and taking care of the lips with the lip mask and all that stuff. <clears throat> all right, now I'm going to take this plum color. Oh, wow. I thought it would be lighter. It is not. I want to pop the middle of that lip. So let's just, I'm not doing that plum color. I'm going to go to my go-to that I tell you guys about all the time. And that's my minted. <clears throat> Oops, that's not my minted. That's one I used yesterday. Hang tight. Let me grab my minted. I swear I had it right in front of me. So what happened was I put it in the wrong spot. All right. You want the lighter color. Draw yourself a heart. Doot, doot. Maybe not a good heart, but a heart. You can blend that with your finger. When in doubt, blend it out. Would you say I was in doubt? Now you can go like that. I am popping mine with some um, gloss. I'm going to can do this bit. Okay. Oh, hang tight. I don't want to do that. I'm going to grab my gloss. Now, I would have used my lip hottie, but it is in my purse. The hottie is what helps to plump your lips and make them look glossy. The older I get, the more I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm like, it's like counterproductive here or something, but I like a glossier lip. A lot of times when people get older, they like a matte lip. And if you do, leave that like that. Okay. I also like the fact that when I put that on, because when you put this on, it stays, I can take and do a little more blending. It's the liner that I like to blend into the lipstick. So there you go, you got some party lips. Okay, you got some party lips, woo! Tina needs to do some hair. You got your eyes done. We are going to go ahead and um, let's see, what else do we need here? We need some cheeks. And I am going to tell you, when I look straight on in this camera, I'm feeling like I didn't pop my eyes enough. So you want to know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this brush. I'm going to take it into that color. And I just want to deepen the color a little bit up here. I love this brush. I love the way it's shaped. Like, I'm so comfortable with putting um, putting it on with this brush, not worried that I'm going to make a heck of a mess or anything. Okay, so you can see that. I think this one's still... Oh, these hooded eyes. You can go... You can go just a hair from your brow line if you want. If you want to see it more, take it up farther. Just leave a tiny space between your brow and your liner. Or not your liner, your shadow. Sorry, ladies. The words, they don't always come out right when I, when I yik yak chit chat. All right, I am going to blend a little bit. Because we want it to pop the color, okay? So we want to pop the color. We want to bring it up a little bit higher. See how that kind of kind of did the trick for me? All right, I'm going to bring you guys in. I'm going to adjust the camera a little. Okay. <clears throat> this 
this kind of crazy. I kind of like it. And I'm doing nothing today. Man, I'm going to have to find somewhere to go after I take care of this hot mess. Um, <clears throat> all right. So now we're going to do our contour. I'm going to kind of plop everything on and then just blend everything in at once. I'm in a little bit of a hurry today. Time crunch. Got to babysit. So from my ear down to <clears throat> just that little indentation you can feel under your cheekbone so ear down to there <clears throat> um you can put some on the jawline if you choose i'm going to do <clears throat> under the lip that's going to make the bottom lip look fuller i'm going to do a little up here i don't think i need to lift my forehead too much but it draws your attention upward So it doesn't drag your face down. All right, my nose. Contour my nose. I think this is the biggest place where I like to contour. Now remember, <clears throat> I have some spots on my face. I know I tell you guys that all the time, but I want you to know that yours is going to be smoother if they're not there. And if they are there, you know what you're going to get when, I, when it comes out, right? Because that's what I got. Now I'm going to take, these are the three-in-one sticks. They're beautiful, lots of beautiful colors. <clears throat> I'm not sure what's available right now, but I'm hoping that maybe we can come out with a fun summer um, color stick. Now don't take me for that because nobody said anything. I'm just hoping on a, a wish and a whim and a whatever. And then I'm going to take... <clears throat> some of my highlighter i gotta clean it off because i put it over top of something so i take this frosty i'm gonna put that on my nose and this is what happened last time and then i'm going to blend just a little right in through here so when i'm blending it all i've got my highlight where i need it where else oh maybe right in through here Ooh, it looks pink see because i went over the pink now now i got a pink up here so right i'll blend it in <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to take that. I'm just going to very lightly blend that and swirl it up very lightly to lift the face. Okay, difference. <laughs> Here I am with my right hand again. I feel like such a, I feel so clumsy. <laughs> Okay, we all have that problem on one side or the other. So I'm going to use my left hand, and maybe you can see, and maybe you can't. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to look straight on in the mirror here. And I did just notice I need to, as I'm looking straight on, woo, I needed to blend that out a little bit. I might have went a little overboard there. <laughs> so what you can do if you did go a little overboard there is take your lighter color and just kind of clean it. I guess that'll learn me. Clean it up. And you know what I say. When in doubt, blend it out. Okay, now let's go ahead and do the nose. Okay, make sure your nose is not dripping. And then we are going to do under the eye. Um... We're going to kind of lighten up right underneath here, like I told you guys in the beginning we would do. <clears throat> so I want you to take the lightest foundation you can find. <clears throat> Mine would so happen to be fair. I am going to take the tiniest little dot, tiny little dot, and I'm going to take a tiny little dot of serum. And this serum is my... I hope I took the right one. Yep, my brightening serum. So that should kind of help. And then I am going to find my teeny tiny little sponge. Hang tight. I like my little yellow guy for that. I'm going to take the tip of it. And this is a beauty blender. A legit straight up beauty blender. Okay, we are going to dot that under. And kind of down in through here just a little bit and very very 
lightly. Now, if you needed to clean anything up here, this is a great place to take that line upward, clean it up so it's nice and sharp. All right, this takes just a little bit of play in. Um, and you know what it takes more than anything else is patience. And I lack that. So sometimes when I put it on, it's just not right because my patience got in the way. And just dab. And there's nice cool water on the sponge. Look how that brightened under the eyes. That, my friends, is incredible. And I like the serum because I don't like lots of stuff under my eye because no matter what, it's going to, it's going to get into some of those deep creases. Um, it's not going to like settle in and be yicky yicky, but it, I don't know. I like that dewy. I like a little less. That's all I'm telling you. This is what I like. You do what you, what you like to do. I'm sorry. I get this crud out of the way. It's in the morning here and I haven't touched my hair since I woke up. So I got all these colics all over. Um, all right. We did that. We did that. What else do we have left to do? I'm trying to think. The hair. Yeah, the hair. We can get off here and do the hair. All right. I think you all saw how I did that underneath um, my eye. We popped the color in the lips. We popped the color in the um, eyeshadow. Hmm. What else? I think that's it. I think we're off and running, my friends. I'll put my jewelry back in. Dab, dab, dab. Oh, there is one other thing that you can do under the eye. And I do usually do this every single day, is I take my setting powder. Setting is important. It's just as important as priming. I don't think you guys, I don't think I knew that for a long time. It's like my makeup would come off or it would look blotchy at the end of the day. Um, you can avoid that by a little setting powder. Um, this stuff has got little tiny water beadlets in it. So when you put it on your little sponge and you press it, you feel those little water beadlets burst. Now you don't want to get too much powder under the eye. I like to put a little under the nose. My favorite setting product, okay, under the eye is this right here. But for my entire face, I'm going to be honest, and I just ordered a bottle to have spare just last month when we had our sale going on because it was cheaper, and I know I use it. Um, ugh, ladies, if I don't get this hair done, I'm just going to drive me crazy. Just If you got short hair, love it. Um, I have a fear. I have a phobia of cutting my hair. All right. And I concentrate on my nose because that's what I touch the most, Okay. All right, so for now, I want you guys to check out, <laughs> I, want to, I want a hairdresser to come do my hair, please. Um, I want you guys to check out the sale this month. I want you to um, have a little fun, be a little bold, don't be afraid. You don't have to do this every day, but give it a shot. When you go out, um, maybe you just do want to brighten up. Now that I see what I see, and I see nice bright lips and happy eyes and a bright face, it makes me feel better. So, it's, it's not just about makeup and wearing makeup. It's about just taking care of you, feeling good about yourself. Um, I'll tell you, when I don't put something on during the day on my face, I don't necessarily um, feel great. I feel frumpy. You know what I mean. Like when you haven't had a chance to shower and you got to go somewhere really quick and you feel like, oh, I just feel icky. That's how I feel when I don't do anything with myself. So um, if you're anything like me, let's just play together. Let's figure out how to pop these colors. I'm going to take a little more of this. I love that pink. And smile. Bye.
Bye, guys. Have a wonderful day. Leave your comments. Um, chat with me. Let's talk. All right. God bless. Bye.